Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. Have you thought about a painting with water drum nets on the flower? It might be hard even thinking about it. So I'm going to show you how to draw flowers and water drum nets tutorial step by step. Okay, I'm going to use uh, today yellow ultramarine deep, lavender, indigo, and white cashew. And I'm sketched in advance for brushy Da Vinci, Raphael, and Winsor Newton. The first thing is that I'm uh, diluting the colors for work. This is yellow. And one of my online uh, class students, Luz, she wanted to paint the pure water drum nets, so I chose today's topic for her and everyone. Her class finished last year, however, we are still keeping in touch as friends. I hope everyone uh, shares together and grows up uh, together like her and I. Okay. I'm just wetting the paper with clean water first. I don't want to use much water today, so I apply water on the inside of the flower. And take a lavender and draw it to the edge of the petal. Next, take a thick density of lavender and put it on the center of the edge area. That will be a shadow and it will look three-dimensional. Next, what I'm doing now is drawing lines between petals to separate each petal use a lavender. Let's move on to the center of the flower. I'm taking this light yellow, put it on the center of the flowers. Now I'm going to leave a, a little white space here for water drum nets and highlights. And next, I'm adding a dark value of yellow in order to depth of the painting. It will look in three dimensions. Okay, we are at an important part now. Let's draw water drum nets. I'm taking the lavender color and making out some shape for the water drum nets. And I'm taking a bit of dark indigo and draw a dark line all the way around the water drop uh, shape. So first take indigo color and uh, draw outlines. And now I'm uh, take uh, some gouache, put on the center of the highlight area and shadow area. This is for the highlights. So first draw outline with the indigo color and dilute the color with green water. And I will tell you one thing. I uploaded a video last Saturday. It's called how to draw water drum nets. So if someone has not watched it yet, go to watch the video. I will link the description box below. I just draw some shape for the water drum nets. I draw different size and different shapes. Also, we are not necessarily draw, drawing them all 
perfect circle as well. Okay, just a little bit different shape and different size. Now I'm making sure the petals shape with a thin pointed brush. Draw some line in the petal and make sure the uh, petal area, petal edge area. I added yellow near the shadow. I usually use this technique for the color match of the painting. Now I'm taking out the, some outlines, uh, color of the water drops. So I don't want to stand out too much some water dropness outlines. Next, move on to the second flower. I just want to uh, create this flower to make a blurry sort of a background flower. Next, for the lower background, I'm going to use wetness tile. So, with the paper first, and taking yellow, and draw the some stem of the flower quickly, and adding a sort of a glass over the flower stems. Attention, please. Look at my brush strokes. Uh, doesn't it look like my brush is dancing? I always tell my students that while you paint this kind of thing, you have to be thinking that you are dancing, always thinking about the dancing, in order to get some movements and uh, variation in painting. That's a very important thing. If you need some detail for the flower and water drop net, use a small brush and white gouache. This is gouache. White gouache for a uh, highlight. Make sure the highlight. And for the upper background, I also want to use a loose style. So I wet the paper first and I'm mixing indigo, ultramarine deep and yellow. Take the that color and apply it on the background area. At this time, be careful with your brush strokes. Don't ruin the flower's shape. So you need to use the 
Tip of the brush very gently. I really, really like this kind of effect. The watercolor painting only has attractive effect. Mixing the color, uh, bl making blurry some colors. I really like that effect. It's kind of um, yeah, abstract effect. So tilt the paper for moving colors back and forth and move the uh, paper side to side back and forth. Still, uh, still, that paper oh, very much wet and this paper holds a lot of water so I'm going to use some uh, spread, spreader technique with yellow color. It will make a uh, uh, very blurry and a beautiful color. And finally touch up for the detail here and there. We always wonder when is the right time to finish painting, right? So yeah, my uh, personal opinion is don't overwork. It means don't leave too much strokes mark on the painting. Uh, but then uh, still I'm working on the uh, wet, on the wet paper so it doesn't make any uh, wall brush mark uh, brush stroke that will uh, spread Look at my brush stroke. I just touching here and there using the tip of the brush. So it looked like some dancing or some, I, I wanna find some movement and variation, some something. So I'm adding yellow color, the edge of the uh, petal area with the yellow. So it will look make natural. And I'm adding some shadow on the knit flower. Finally, I splash with clean water. Okay, all right, we are all done. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. Hit the like button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.